welcome back to the fourth inning podcast channel to the third episode of outside the box the series where we talk about and rank things that aren't necessarily related to sports in today's episode we're going to be ranking our top 10 fast food restaurants uh, to get to get it started at number well, 10 first off sh- should we define fast food i mean you can go ahead and define fast food right, it has to have a drive through yep no like wait waiters that like take your order at a table or something like that and is quick obviously yes. fast food so fast skyline food. chili is yeah, exempt like, well, from this list you know or yes. like yeah Okay. Fast, I mean, Skyline could be a little bit of both. It has drive through It has yeah, drive through so but, but you but can get waited on. You can on. dine in. You do get yeah, waited on. Be, yeah. All right. So Skyline is not on any of, any of our list. Just a heads up. It would be on my list if I... For and sure. yeah. you yeah. only know what we're talking about if you have been to Cincinnati or <laughs> like Clearwater, Florida. I'm not sure where it's at. <laughs> All right. To get things started at 10, I have Culver's. Uh, I, I'm a huge fan of their fries, and you, you, can't go wrong. you can't go wrong on one of their burgers. Matt, what do you have at 10? Number ten, I have KFC. I actually had KFC tonight. Really? Yeah, they have they have some they have some great chicken. The five dollar <laughs> fill is, is a really good deal. Where's that chicken from? Uh, I don't know, but those those eleven herbs and spices really do make a difference. Blake, what do you have for number nine or number ten? Yeah, we're at number ten. Uh, number ten, I have a uh, Subway. You know, eat fresh. Subway so fresh. Let's yeah. listen to Jerry. You know, you know, oh, actually, it's, it's a little, it's a little. Subway Subway sandwiches have a surprising amount of calories in them. Yeah, they, it they're not exactly that it, healthy. It is depends it what you, you get. It's not course. it's not as healthy as they advertise it to be. You know, it's it's, no. it's, it's a little strange. It's on my list. I'm a very picky, plain guy when it comes to food and like sandwiches. So, but it's it still makes it on my list. For my number ten, I'm going to agree with Matt here at KFC. Best sure. chicken around. Where's that chicken from? KFC from the farm. Oh, Kentucky no. guys. What are you guys talking? Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where's that chicken from? I don't know, like Arkansas. <laughs> what if it's not actually from Kentucky? Yeah. You, you don't know that. The point. I'm sorry, I don't that, pay that's attention. Part, that's part of the joke. How like Kentucky Fried yeah, Chicken yeah. is probably not actually from Kentucky. I don't but, keep you know. track of the chickens yeah. and where they come from yeah. when they're shipped. All right, back, back on topic. Number nine, as Blake said earlier, I have Subway. Thank you. Can't go wrong. One of their sandwiches. You could, you could. I mean, I mean, it depends what you get, of course. But oh, like ten you, pounds of ranch on it. That's <laughs> <really good. laughs> Number nine, I have Chipotle. This is the only Mexican or Tex-Mex, you could say, food <laughs> or Tex-Mex? restaurant. I mean, I, I guess. Yeah. They have, they, have, they, have, they have some. It's it's great Mexican fast food. It's always it, it always seems fresh at the place that I get it at, and uh, I, I I like the ours our, our our local Chipotle being local the Chipotle. Uh, first Chipotle with a drive-through. Yes. Ever. Yeah. That's it's fun fact. Fun fact it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, my number nine, uh, I got KFC, as uh, Tristan and jo- uh, Matthew already said. Blake, and I can, uh, uh, where's that chicken from? I can, <laughs> I, I can tell you exactly where that chicken's from. Where it is it from? from? It's from Kentucky, that's a good born answer. and raised. That's a good answer. And it's, and it's dipped in the fryer because that's why it's fried, and it's chicken. Who cooked it? Colonel. The Colonel himself. The Colonel, the Colonel himself. <laughs> My number nine. I couldn't tell you where the chicken came from, but I'm going with Raising Cane's. Yeah. Raising Cane's. Probably the dog. It's kind of weird. It's named that after oh. the dog. <laughs> oh. No. Wait. No. My bad. <laughs> the chicken does not come from the dog. It, it's a chicken. Yeah, it's a chicken. It's chicken. But it's it's named after the, the dog. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Is it really? It's named after the owner's dog. Cane. Raising Cane's. Like, or is it named oh, after that really good? Who's yeah, the, the man Cane's, like the different, like, Well, Cincinnati there's lots of Cane's. There's lots of Cane's. Yeah, lots of canes. We'll, we'll move on there. We're getting off topic, sorry. My favorite Cane's Raising Cane's, though. But number eight, <laughs> I have Mickey D's. Only reason they're on my list, the French fries. That's, that's so it. good. Really? Oh, really Their good Coke fries. is different, and it's good. <laughs> it's diffy good. It's <laughs> diffy good. <laughs> number eight, I have In-N-Out. I, I've only been it. here a few times. I go there on the West Coast. I think it's a bit overrated, but it's still very solid. The burger's good, but I think the fries are a little. You get it, you I've get never been. Style? What? Do you get it? Do you ever got an animal style? I haven't. Me neither. I've never gotten anything there because I've never eaten there. <laughs> it's, it's, me neither. It's good have to try it out. It's, it's good. <laughs> I shouldn't say it's overrated, but it's overhyped by the West Coast people. We'll we'll go take a trip. Go to In and Out yeah, while we we'll, watch we'll, our, we'll our a, Tin we'll Cup a, and we'll catch a plane there. We'll we'll watch a Tin Cup in the Lords of Dogtown yep. on the way there. <laughs> 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 All right, number my eight, I have uh, Panera Bread. Uh, I mean, healthy, I guess. It depends on what you get again. For the most part, they're 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 healthy though. But uh, I always get the same thing when I get there, and it's the the 
the pick two, and it's the grilled the grilled cheese and the mac and cheese. Mm, can't go wrong. I'm a cheesy yeah. guy. I'm a cheesy guy. You know big, che- big cheese. <laughs> big cheese. Call me big big cheese. cheese. Call me big cheese. Biggie cheese. Biggie cheese. <laughs> 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 My number eight isn't so healthy. I'm going with White Castle. Their chi- their chicken oh. sliders are just. I love them. I don't remember. It's chicken sliders. Those are the, those are so good. Yeah, those are That's good. That's what I get there. Moving on to number seven, I have Raisin Canes. Can't go wrong with their uh, Caniac combos. And always got to substitute the the, uh, the coleslaw for some for some bread. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, you guys have the slaw at Raisin Canes or no? No, I yeah. do not eat the slaw. Not really. Ma- I'm not Ma- a big slaw guy. No, number yeah. seven, I have um, from going to one of the healthier options to one of the least healthiest options. You just said five no, guys. No, you? I'm talking about you guys. Oh. Uh, okay. I have five well, guys, I burgers, and fries. I think it's five the greasiest. Guys. It's the greasiest <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, if you, if you ever the do. Burger, the burger is really good, but the fries are subpar because oh, yeah. I think it gets to the grease too much. But if you're really, really looking for a heart attack, go to Five Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Clog your arteries. The food, oh the food, it's 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 better in in store. It is. Yeah, it doesn't it soak is. in the grease as much. Ooh. But it, if you ever go through the drive through, that bag always comes comes oh, out. It, it comes out grease. dripping. Yeah, <laughs> came through dripping. <laughs> they, they, they always dripping if I guess. What, what do you got next, Blake? Uh, my seven. I got a a big one. Taco Bell. Yeah. Not a huge fan of Taco Bell, but <gasps> big enough to make it on the list. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> my number seven is also Taco Bell. I mean, five-layer beefy burritos. That's what I get there. Well. Really? Wow. wow. Look at us. Wow. Look at us. <laughs> or I get the, the, the I thought you said you didn't really <laughs> the like that much. Well, Their quesadillas well, are really what I get good. There. That's what I get there. I get the steak quesadilla also. Number seven. <laughs> well, we're actually number six now. But well, that's, it's we just talked about okay. <laughs> number seven. I, I understand. Okay. No, number six, I have Popeyes. If you have not had, had their chicken sandwich... You're crazy. That thing is. No, I guess I'm crazy. No, I'm crazy. Our, wait, on our drive to the crazy. West Coast, can we uh, stop at a Popeyes? You guys haven't had Popeyes. No, no. never. Oh, I've, had, I've had Popeyes never, fried chicken, but I've never I've had, had Popeyes, Popeyes chicken at all. sandwich. Jeez. I've never had it. Me neither. At all. It's good. Me neither. I mean, I, I I could dig me some Louisiana fast sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what what uh the commercials. Which one you go though. to? Yes. yes. Sometimes you could you could end up with some some average service. Sometimes you could end up with some awful service at. Popeyes. There's no good service at any Popeyes, so it uh, it all depends there. She looks so nice though on the commercials. Number no, <laughs> no, I'm not sick of a Popeyes. Number uh, number <laughs> six. I am going f- to the most underrated restaurant on my list, and it's Hardee's. Hardee's. I believe wow. I believe it's so underrated. Hardee's. I'm going because it's so underrated and so underlooked because there are none in Northern Kentucky. I don't think but I've ever. I think their breakfast is is unmatched among. Uh, any fast food restaurants, and I think better than McDonald's. Yes, mm. and I think they're they're just burgers and fries is also it's it's up there. It's up there on the Hardy best. slash Carl's Jr. Yes, right. I, I I bet Carl's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't I don't know Carl personally. <laughs> well, it's Carl. not Carl. It's Carl, Carl Jr. Carl Jr. I bet Carl Sr. was a good guy, too. Yeah. <laughs> you probably raised him right. You probably raised him right. <laughs> raised him right. <laughs> Made some, some home cooking breakfast. <laughs> All right, my six, I got, uh, I got Wendy's. Uh, mm. they, uh, they probably moved up my list when they brought, brought out the four for four, probably the greatest deal in fast, in fast food history. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 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 Greatest deal. I, I may be, I may go to the five dollar Philip or the five dollar <laughs> five dollar Philips. Oh, that's so weird. They're, yeah, their new spicy chicken tenders are very good. Yes, that's they why are. I'm putting them at number six. Spicy nugs. Spicy nugs. Moving into the top five, Wendy's is actually my number five. Thank you. I usually get their baconator. And baconator. That's also oh. or baconator junior. If you're not that hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a or. I'm sure Baconator's a good like, guy. Just like Ray Carl Jr. Right. <laughs> I'm sure Baconator's a good guy. You may have a home cooking. Mr. Baconator. <laughs> or, or Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave's Wendy. double. Dave Dave's Wendy. double. Dave and Dave Wendy. Double. <laughs> <laughs> Please move on. Dave okay, Wendy. Matt. Alrighty. Matt, what's I'm, your number five? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from the most underrated restaurant to the most underrated chicken joint. And that's Guthrie's. <laughs> that's Guthrie's. Yes. Yes. I've never had it. Guthrie's is worlds beyond Raising Cane. I agree. I think Where's their chicken from? 
Where, where is your chicken from? <laughs> the freshest, yeah, yeah. Good the tell freshest you. farm in the, it's the in freshest the world. farm, yeah, in the world. Probably in Ireland. Just beautiful weather. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully and not. Man, haters, I, hope not I, think, I think Cain's uh, stole Guthrie's sauce and their, <laughs> and their recipe for everything because it's just a beautiful restaurant and beautiful chicken. And I think they're... Their box deal is the chicken immaculate. is oh, it's so good. It's immaculate. All right, my five. I got five guys actually. That's convenient, really? isn't it? Burgers and fries. I'm, yes. sure, I'm sure they're good guys as well. Yes, they yeah. make. They make. They make. We're four guys and they're five. They guys. make one of the more one of the more gourmet, if you will, burgers. More, yeah, not really. I, I agree. I agree. You know what I mean? It's yeah, I agree. it's up there with Jeff Ruby's for sure. Yeah, yeah it's, it's close. It's close. <laughs> Might as well give the edge to five guys. My yeah, number five. Just five guys. Oh, five good pals. Yeah. And we're, and we're, I wonder and we're who those five guys are. We're four good guys. Carl, Dave, and Wendy. <laughs> Carl, Dave, <laughs> They're probably three of them. And Guthrie. Carl, and Guthrie. Dave, Wendy, and the Colonel up there. <laughs> Hey, he's captain. He's, All right. Tristan. he's the guy. <laughs> Tristan, what's your number five? I'm gonna have to go at Subway. Their their foot log is very very good. Their, f- sure their meatball cell. Oh, we forgot about Jared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too good. <laughs> Jared must be the sixth guy when, when someone Jared. can't make it into work. He's the sixth man of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Oh my goodness. No, number four. I have, oh ch- man. I have oh, Chipotle. Oh man. Can't, can't go wrong with the Chipotle bowl. With the Chipotle bowl. That's why I have it at four. <laughs> oh, number four. Number four, I have uh, Wendy's. I think it's also underrated. They have a good variety <laughs> with the nugs. Which I get, I get the ten piece nugs every time I go there, and I've recently uh, ate a spicy chicken sandwich, and it's really good. And I and, and Frosties are unmatched from fast food Dave, desserts. Dave, be proud. Dave, Dave, and Wendy. They're, they should be proud. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they they oh my goodness! All right, number four. I uh, said, as Matthew said, it is the most underrated chicken joint and the best chicken joint. It's Guthrie's. It's it's raising canes, but everything's better. Especially the bread. The it's, bread. The it's, bread is. It's a lot more fresh. I've heard from. We, a say, we should say Texas toast. I've, yeah. Texas I've, toast. Texas I've, toast. I've yeah, spoken. That. I've spoken with the Guthrie's employee, and they've told me that <laughs> Kane's chicken is actually frozen, and Guthrie's is, is shipped wow. in fresh. Well, at Wendy's, it makes it it's fresh, never frozen. Yes, mm. isn't it? As you just said. I have a hard time agreeing it, agreeing with that. But man, their nugs are good. My number four is going to be Zach's bees. I think that's the best yes. chicken. Zach's but bees. do you think Zach can join him too, Matt? Maybe Zaxby. It's a chicken, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. I like Zaxby's. I've had it a couple times. I have it yeah. when I'm uh, driving through the area. Their sauce is very good. It is very good. Yeah. Their sauce is definitely. Oh, I'd probably I give say. Give them. I give them. I push them a little down because their 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 tenders are a little skinny. Yeah. And the Texas, a little lackluster. I'm not a fan of the Texas toast. It's no, a little, it's a little just kind of bread. Yeah. yeah. It's just. It's very British. It's just very British. It's very British. By chance, by chance, has anyone been to Bo Jangles in their life? I no. no. I have recently been driving home from uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina, and there I have seen. Bo Jangles at about every exit. I've, <laughs> Bo I've, Jangles in the, is part of Bo the Jangles guys. is a clown. He's a jester, so <laughs> he's the entertainment. He is <laughs> between shifts. He's the guy. <laughs> All right, and number. F- oh, sorry, we're in the top three now. Yeah, yeah. number yeah. three. Moving into Big the top here. three. Not a lot of people have had this, but as Matt said earlier, and number three, I have In and Out. Mm. The burgers are a little overhyped from what from what they get, but I still I still think they're really good. The fries are. Eh, not the best, but I, I, I think the burgers just bring that all the way up to the top of my list. Number three. Number three, I have Culver's. Man, their butter burger is elite. How about and that I custard? Think their custard, Ooh, that custard is good. Is good. It's, 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 good. It's, it is good. It's it is the good. second best um, restaurant, fast food dessert, I believe. And they have the second best fries of any fast food restaurant out there. Ooh, I'm a big really? Culver's fan. I'm, I'm, hyping, I'm hyping Culver's up. I've eaten them since I was a young and I, I won't stop anytime soon. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three, I got Chipotle, uh, Ma- Mexican, Tex-Mex, whatever we want to call it. And uh, I think it's just it's just so good. You know, can't go wrong. You get the the burrito bowl with a tortilla on the side so you can get the burrito and the bowl. And it's, it's I don't know if you guys do that. But no, that, that is I just, a good way I just to do it, the though. Burrito. I might try you, it. You get the tortilla on the side for free. You I, fill I, the tortilla, I the make a burrito, and then you get the leftover in the bowl. Wow. Innovation at its finest. Yes. Right? Yeah. As, 
We I just like the like the colonel with his eleven herbs and spices. <laughs> I think I think I heard an employee got like really angry and like posted the eleven herbs and spices on uh, like a uh, social media. <laughs> it's plankton. It's, he he fell down the stairs, right? <laughs> the colonel got him. <laughs> the colonel got to him. <laughs> Hitman Colonel. <laughs> at number th- at yeah. number three <laughs> at number three, I'm gonna go with Ronald McDonald. He's I love their fries, their Coke. And they, their burgers, they're not bad. Nug- and nuggets are really specify. good. So, sorry, Coca-Cola. Rock and Roll McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, good song. That's a very that's gonna good be, song. That's going to be uh, Mr. Rife's uh, walk-up song. It's a contender. It's up there. With Home Depot well, well, Remix. Home Depot Remix. Remix and Big Bucks. By Smoke <laughs> Burp. Smoke Burp. Yeah. Don't look it up. It's, uh, it's quite... Uh, look up the clean version. Yeah, it's quite illicit. Explicit. Right. Yeah. Explicit. Oh. You said illicit. illicit. Yeah. <laughs> that is my fault. I apologize. Please don't hate me. It's okay. We, oh, thank you. We, we, we support you. Oh. At, at number two, I have five guys, the greasiest burgers in the world, but I think one of the best burgers in the world. Services. In the world. Uh, I, said, <laughs> I said one. Okay. Gordon Ramsay's a five guy, apparently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of the five guys. I, I say, let's go. Just, just say, just, let's just Bobby go with. Flay, one of the five guys. Let's just, just go. With, <laughs> where does Jared fit in with all of this? Jared, what are you Jared's just making sandwiches Jared, on the side. Jared sandwiches. is. Jared from Jared Subway. He's, he's, Jared. he's stepping into jeans and he's making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two. Gotta go five Jared. guys. They give you. An excess amount of fries, and I think they, it's unnecessary. You know, they just, they just <laughs> put them in the bag. They don't even try to put them. They just put them in the bag. I, think, but I don't think we really should be talking about Jared because I don't think he's that, that great of a guy, is he? Oh, I don't think he's so. Not, he's, but, not, yeah. he's not a good guy in person. He's a good guy. For, he's a good subway guy, though. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, five guys, you could you could ask for a small... You could, <laughs> no. you, could, you could ask for a small fry at five guys, and they'll give you a large. So, You know, just you get, just getting more weird to pay for. So that's yeah. great. That is, that is true. Number two, I have McDonald's. Talk about getting a bang for your buck. They have an, <laughs> they have an elite menu. Menu. They have, they, they have the best nugs out of any fast food restaurant. Anytime wow, I go to McDonald's, I, I get the ten. No. I get the ten piece nugs, and they also do have the best you fries. You like your nugs, don't you? I do. Um, yes. I went up to a baseball tournament. I'm pretty sure I ate nugs is for every meal. So right, well, number two, I healthy. also have I also have McDonald's. Not for their nugs though. I don't think their nugs are that all that, all that much. I'm just kidding. I only eat fruit and vegetables at the baseball game. With peanut table. butter. Good. With peanut butter. Good. But, uh, again, I have McDonald's at two. I think this, their, uh, their burgers are just classic, classic tastes. It's ingrained in my head forever. I, always, I don't know oh, if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's, it's, it's a thing. It's just because it's, it's, it's McDonald's. I don't, yep. I don't actually eat McDonald's yep. that Ro- much. Rock and roll but, McDonald's. You know, when I do, I always enjoy myself in their $1 any size drinks. It's quite the steal. Yes. It's it's more value than a, than a soda bottle at the grocery store, so and you know their Coke is on a different level. That's you know what? I like that. I, that I like that. How it's how what you said. It's valued more than a soda bottle at a grocery store. It is. I like that. I like that comparison. I, I mean, appreciate that. It's just true. It's, it's just true. It's like a dollar seventy five <laughs> at a grocery store. I just appreciate that. Move on. All right, you. number Move two. On. I'm gonna go with Chipotle. Love love getting a bowl. I'm a big bowl guy. Yeah, I'm a big bowl guy also. Bowl steak. Guy. Matt, you're I'm a burrito steak. guy, aren't you? I'm a burrito guy, yeah. yeah. That's all right. We support you. I think what I think from a bowl and a burrito is I see a burrito. A tortilla. No, that's what I, it see, is. I see a burrito as just like a bowl plus extra tortilla, which is just extra filler for my, for my belly. And I think it's very <laughs> belly. good. Belly. Estomago, as they say in Espanol. <laughs> yes. 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 See. Yes. See. And if I'm not mistaken, he I haven't all. heard this on anyone's list, so I'm assuming we all have it at one. Number one, Chick Fil A. Does everyone Chick-fil-A. else agree? Yes, yeah, so we would have made oh, a lot boy, of best I nuggets had, out there. I have so oh, much so and chicken so sandwich. So good. They they have, let's listen to what Matt says. In general, Matt. in general, Chick Fil A has the best sandwich out there. They have a classy and simple menu, and I think they have the best soft drinks. And I think what yes, Mc, the what, ice. Mc, yeah. what the McDonald's ice. what McDonald's did wrong. They changed their the large ice. soft drinks from styrofoam to like plastic. Yes. Styrofoam, styrofoam helps, makes it better. Yeah, yeah. it helps. Um, As it, they have it, got threes. Yeah, it helps um, keep the ice frozen and keep the drink from getting watered Insulated. down. And I, and I appreciate it's that. Insulated. And we yeah. we shall not forget the extraordinary service at Chick-fil-A. Oh, yes. Wow. My, my pleasure. pleasure. Jinx, <laughs> you owe me a $1 Coke at McDonald's, <laughs> which could be either small or large. Because it's any size. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see why you wouldn't get the large because the same price yeah. as the small. So. But Chick Fil A, it's it's unmatched by any fast food restaurant. They got the best there's, there's nuggets. There's nothing bad on their menu. Matt nuggets, chicken sandwich, nuggets. ice. I don't think they are. Uh, Chick Fil A sauce. You guys like that? I don't yes. personally like it. Yes. I could I could dig me some Polynesian, but usually oh, I don't go. Too. I usually don't go sauce. Yeah, really? Me I don't think wow. it needs it. Do you, chicken, needs do, you, it. Do, you, do you go chicken, chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich, no pickles. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no pickles. See, you either drip or you drown, and I and I just I just I don't drown. I drip. He, cho- yeah. he chose the drip for today. I chose the drip. I didn't drown. <laughs> you know, I I being a high school football player and being provided meals before the games, Chick Fil A was always a. Uh, a m- made multiple appearances a season, appearances a season, before the games, and they care. it is it doesn't. They, they do care. They it care doesn't. About their- it doesn't get better. N- you know, nothing like your, you know, lights you lights you up and makes your day that much better than seeing Chick Fil A waiting for you in the yes. in the cafeteria before <laughs> I just, uh, uh, once Friday I night see, lights. I bounce off the wall. Oh, I, 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 I you know the drive through line may be long, but it it's is worth, every bit worth it. It's worth the wait. And, and for the drive through line being that long... It's they, pretty quick. It's it is pretty quick. Their efficiency in the drive through is unmatched. It, it is. is. It's unmatched. 100%. It, their efficiency is by far they the, have, the best. They have all the intangibles to make it maybe one of the best fast food restaurants ever. And with ever, that... I mean, it's... And, and with it's that... Like they yeah. retire. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to wrap up this Outside the Box. We hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you like, subscribe, comment, do all that. Follow our social media. And uh, remember to get 4% better every day. See ya.